Okay, so watch. Let's have you start. You can either be uh, sitting, kneeling, well, actually, oh, sorry, sit down first. <clears throat> if you're following at all, uh, what I'm trying to do on, what we're doing on social media, we're trying to do a little more, I'm showing some different things that we do, and, and each week I'm doing a particular focus. This week I've been focusing on uh, embodied movement and what we mean by that and how that translates to exercise in general. We do a lot of that. So today I want to do, uh, because I said I was going to do this, was is do a little foot opening. So we're just going to spend a little time with your feet for a second. So can you have a seat? You can even use a chair if you wanted. And you're going to uh, be able to have access to the sole of your foot, right, like this. And what we're going to do is take your thumbs, put your thumbs right in the middle of your like of your foot, so you have a straight line down the middle of your foot. We're going to kind of massage and spread your fascial tissue like this on the sole of your foot, going all the way down towards the heel. So I'm kind of spreading that tissue like that. And then we go back up towards the top of your, uh, the, well, the balls of your feet, so towards the, the forefoot. Okay, so we do that like three times up and down. You're just kind of pressing in and, and, and then massaging out like this, down towards your heel, and then moving your way back up towards the balls of your feet. And the whole point of this press, this going out like this, what we're doing is we're, we're putting a tip, one more time up and down, or down and up, is we are placing attention or we're waking up the soles of your feet. This is how we walk, stand, right? How we move is how we feel connection into our feet. So oftentimes the feet, you know, tend to walk around like in shoes and in bricks, so we don't really pay attention to it too much. But I want, we're trying to emphasize the sole. Now, now go like this. Grab your foot like you're going to squeeze out a sponge. Don't you just kind of squeeze, like apply pressure, squeeze, and release. Squeeze and release. And just kind of go all the way around, like to your heel, to your arch, towards your toes. You're just squeezing and releasing. Okay, this is, again, a real important piece to like how you help build circulation and blood flow and, and wake up the movement around the, these are called the metatarsals. You know, your foot is 26 bones. There's a lot of joints in here that we're, we want to have uh, able to move and breathe, okay? Now, now you're gonna go like this, so fingers between the toes. If you can, you know, all four in between those four spaces, if you can, if, if you can only do like maybe two or three, you know, that's fine too. But then you wanna, whatever you get, then you do like this figure eight with your hand. Very good, y'all. That's great. And so clear out all that toe jam. <laughs> no, I won't actually. You gotta go take a shower. <laughs> so yeah, move it up, move it around in that in that circle. So again, yeah, we're increasing or we're encouraging that range of motion through your forefoot. Good. Okay, now now you'll like this one. Go like this. So make a little fist. You can do a fist. You can do like just your your fingertips, and you're gonna like just kind of pound or tap, if you do it with your fingertips, you're just kind of tapping the whole sole of your foot. So you're going to go from the balls of your feet, through your arches, down to your heel. That's it. You can either use the fist or the fingers. And So again, you're encouraging feeling, range of motion, uh, sensory awareness of how you engage your foot. Even trying going on the inside of the foot, like this, on the inside, below the ankle, but on the inside of your foot. And maybe doing on the uh, outside of the foot as well. And then, uh, definitely around the heel. That little pounding is a great way to release, again, some tension that builds. Very good. Okay, now just go like this. Hold your leg and just point and flex your foot. Spread your toes as much as you comfortably can. And then circle the ankle one direction, and then reverse. Very good. And then try and spread your toes. If you can, 
spread your toes as much as I am, then you have reached freaky uh, levels. <laughs> but it's, uh, I work on that. I really work on trying to open my toes so they can really spread out. That's on purpose. Okay, other side. So change feet. So we start with uh, the thumbs on the inside and we're kind of pressing into the middle and spreading out. Pressing in and spreading out like this. We're just encouraging that, that spreading across the, the arch of your foot. Pressing into the middle and pulling the tension out. So when we get to all the standing stuff that we do later on, the goal is to be able to really sense the whole foot, right? Sense the tripod, the big ball, little ball, heel. Uh, sometimes we'll think, well, I'll say it like, not just the tripod, but the four points, which, be, which is the big ball, little ball, and then the inside of your heel and the outside of your heel. Like there's four points that we do for balance when we're standing up. Very good, so a little bit more. Okay, and then now you do the fingers in between your toes. And then you try and do like a figure eight. Kind of walk or move your, your hand around your, in a figure eight motion and try and get your toes to separate and spread. And like I said, it can be like two or three fingers only. It can just be what's, what works for you because this is, these are sore spots, I'm sure, right? Because we don't, I mean, we tend to put a lot of pressure into the forefoot. So we're opening up the ankle, opening up your foot, a little more. And it's so good to take the time to do this, y'all. So important. Foundation is, is key for what, how we engage our core. Okay, now you're doing your, your tapping. So you can do it with your knuckles, like this. And you're going all the way around, right? Like around your toes, at your balls of your feet, on the whole entire arch. Okay, increasing circulation. This is a big way that we help circulation through the whole body is, is by having nice healthy feet. It's like a spring. <clears throat> Do the inside of your foot. And then do the outside. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very good. I didn't, you could even do like, like tapping like this if you wanted to like kind of slap yourself around a bit, but it, it does feel good. It's something similar to like doing. If anybody's ever done like doing, where you do like tapping all over your body, it's very similar to help wake up the system. Okay. Uh, oh, that's what I forgot. Squeezing. So now you're, Squeezing, whole hand, whole hand, squeeze the foot as if it was like a sponge and you're just kind of applying pressure, squeeze and release. Squeeze and release, squeeze and release. Just do around the heel, especially, that's a tight spot, the heel. Definitely around the arches. You can do from side to side squeezing, you can squeeze from top to bottom. Okay, see whatever it is. So that all that you're doing is you're trying to wake up movement around your metatarsals. Such a good feeling. A little more. Like I said, give yourself time. Rushing through this doesn't give you much. You want to let your body feel like how much does your body need. Okay, now you go here and you're doing the point and flex. Point and flex and circles. Very good, both directions. And then try spreading your toes. Really opening up your toes. Okay. <clears throat> How much can you pick your, toe, uh, pick your big toe up? And sometimes that's a good thing is to try like separating them where your little toes go down, your big toe comes up. You really want to get detailed. <laughs> but it's good work, okay. So that's just your feet. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at before we lay down and get going here is your spirals. So reach your arms forward like this. So I'm gonna use this later on when we get to the spirals. Have your palms face up. <coughs> and now, so this is called 
<clears throat> sorry, external rotation. I'm, I'm externally rotating my arms so my palms are up. And then this is internal rotation, palm, uh, palms face in and rotating around. So external rotation, internal rotation. Just do it a couple of times and get used to that feeling of the whole arm because then we're going to take this into a, a bigger range when we get to our uh, spirals. Internal, external. Okay, one more time. External. And what you do is like bring your arms down by your side and have, do the external rotation. And notice that's an opening of your chest, right? When you externally rotate, your shoulder blades drop, your chest lifts, you look up. When you internally rotate, you are creating a flexion, a rounding of your spine, head down, round. And then externally rotate to lift and extend. Inhale, exhale as you round. One more time, inhale. And then exhale as you round. Very good, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna go a little quicker today. We're, gonna, we're nice and warmed up, lie down your back. We're gonna go a little quicker because I do want, I guess I don't wanna get to some constructive release with the uh, chairs to finish. So we're gonna uh, give ourselves at least five minutes for that at the end. So hold your weights up to the ceiling. Let's go with your weights. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go right into our movements pretty quick. I'll spend a little time around the, the uh, spirals, but for the most part, we're just gonna keep moving this morning and then we'll finish with a nice cool down. So inhale, bend your elbows, exhale, extend. So my weights are sitting heavy in my palms, my elbows go out to the side, and I'm bending and extending, just doing a little chest press. When my elbows come out to the side, right angle, and then push. Inhale, exhale, push. Very good. Last two, let's kind of our continuing warm up. Now palms face in, and I do your tricep press. Bend and extend. Inhale, exhale, press. Good. And now even here, like because we did all that to wake up how you're sensing your feet, notice how your feet feel. Your feet are just engaged in the mat. You don't have to do a lot to, to engage. You're just grounded because we woke up that whole sensory perception of your feet into the mat. Now stay up. Now you're going to bridge. So press down into your feet, turn your tailbone, come up into your bridge, and go wide and then press up. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, press. Very good. That's it, five, four, and three. Do two more. <clears throat> Excuse me, one more time, now stay up. Now triceps again, tricep press, five, for just a warm up, we get to a little more later. But just feel your feet grounded, your back grounded, your neck long. Now pause here at the top, and then slowly roll your spines down. Release, and then put your weights to your side. And we're gonna go right into our spirals. I just want to invite the uh, the rotation of the arms. So extend your legs, arms are wide. Okay, you're gonna side bend to your left. Everybody side bend to your left. Now when you lift your left arm, everybody pause here. Lift your left arm, and I want you to internally rotate that arm. So that arm is up to the ceiling. I'm gonna internally rotate that arm, and then I'm gonna use that reach of that arm to spiral my body over to my right. So I'm in a spiral twist. Now pause here, hold that rotation, now, with your, the top, that left arm, externally rotate your arm and lift it up to the ceiling. Exactly. And then internally rotate the arm and come back down. Externally rotate and lift. Internally rotate and release. External and lift. Internal and release. Two more. Good and release and one more time internal and then and then i'm sorry internal as you come down sorry 
Now pause here, slowly roll back, roll back to your leg, roll back to your hips, roll back to your spine. Very good, that was great. So we're using this internal external rotation to kind of guide our rotation through our, our mid thoracic. So side bend to your right, <clears throat> right arm up to the ceiling. Now, as that right arm comes up, internally rotate the arm, the shoulder comes forward, your ribs turn, and then you spiral onto your left side. And then externally rotate to lift, internally rotate the arm as you come down. <clears throat> external rotate to lift, internal to come down, external and internal. One more time, external and internal. And then slowly roll back. Good job. Any questions? We do it one more time each side. Any questions? Are we all good? Those are, those are some big rotations. Okay, side bend left. <clears throat> left arm. Internally rotate your left arm and roll onto your right side. And, and then now lift, lift on the external rotation, lower on the internal. And feel how that moves. See, it, it's a movement through your rib cage, through your lateral body, through your uh, obliques. So you're waking up that whole line, everybody, that line of connection through that whole left side as you reach and then lift. Now stay down and roll back. See, as you wake up those lateral lines, that gives you so much more relationship to your core center. It just, it just does. The obliques connect to your uh, core center. Side bend right, one more time. Right arm, internally rotate the arm to turn, and then externally rotate to connect, internally rotate to release. External, <coughs> internal. And as you notice, my leg is going up and down. So I'm using that, that external rotation to engage my whole left so right side. And then inhale, last one. Good, and then you slowly come back, roll through your spine. Good job, now just pause there, just feel, notice what that did. So you opened up your shoulders, you opened up your rib cage, hopefully, and your hips should feel Nice and flat, y'all look great. That looks really, really good. Okay, so now let's go to hundreds. So start picking up some more pace. So bring your knees to your chest. Keep your leg, let your leg be in tabletop position. Hands behind your head to begin. Inhale, lift your head, exhale, curl forward. Bring one arm down by your side and start your pulses. Good, and then if you wanna do both arms, you can. But remember, it's how you're thinking from the, the width of your back, the length of your neck, to deepen your rib hinge. You're deeply curling forward. Good, and then maybe extend the legs. You can add a little more, a little more little belly challenge right there. Good, and then maybe bring one leg halfway down. So one leg reaches out, one leg stays up. And then you switch. Good. And then switch again. Remember, inhale to the nose, exhale to the nose. And last time. Good job. Bring your knees to your chest and hug. Gently rock inside to side. Good. Okay. Let's go right into the uh, abdominal series still. We'll stay with this. Hands behind your head, chin to chest, curl forward, extend your right leg. So put your emphasis into your foot, spread your toes, feel your whole foot reaching, and then switch legs. You inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep sensing that heavy head in the hands as you curl forward. One more time. Good, now bring both knees into your chest, hug. Inhale, arms and legs out. Exhale, come and hug. Inhale, 
Deep exhale, right? Get that deeper exhale, deep the diaphragm lift. Inhale expands. Exhale brings you home. Inhale out, two more. Good. And last time. Very good. And then crisp uh, scissors. So one leg up, one leg down. One, two little pulse. One, two. So you pull the leg a little closer while the other leg reaches away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Hold foot still. Try and keep those toes apart. Send those piggies somewhere. So you really open the whole foot. And last one inside. And then both legs to the ceiling, hands behind your head. We go down to five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, y'all. Crisscross to finish. Elbow to opposite knee, and then switch. Inhale, exhale, turn. Very good. Do you find that heavy head in your hand and your whole foot reaching away? Inhale, exhale, turn. Good. Last two each side. And one more time. Good job. And then bring your knees to your chest. Head down. Gently rock your knees side to side. Very good, y'all. Very good. Let's do a little more hip release here for a moment. So let's just do the, grab your uh, band. Let's do your leg series. So right foot in the band. And left leg is long on the mat. So inhale, soften your knee, exhale, straighten your leg. Three times only, just waking up that feeling of the whole foot. Again, reach through that strap, now stay long. Now do your circles across your body, around, and come up. Inhale, exhale, right? Your whole leg reaches through that strap. Your whole foot engages the strap, and yet you're still feeling the hip heavy in the hip socket. Now reverse it. Inhale to the outside, exhale up. Very good. Last two deep breaths. Um, exhale deeper to get deeper in that rib hinge. Now stay here. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, send the leg away as you climb, 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 climb up. Pause, inhale. And then exhale, slowly melt and roll back down. Very good, y'all. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, send the leg away to climb up. Use the leg reaching away to lift. Inhale, and then exhale, melt, and roll down. Very good. Last one. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, send the leg away to come up. There you go. Inhale, and then exhale, melt. Good. There you go. And release down. Now, hold the band with the right hand. Let the leg go out to the side first, to the right. So your right hand releases the leg out to the side. Turn the knee out a little bit so you get that inner thigh, groin, release in that direction. Very good. Hold the stretch. Then you bring it up to the ceiling. Take it across your body to your left. Try reaching out your heel. It's okay if your hip comes up, okay? That hip can come up. You're reaching to that back of your leg, heel, and your right arm reaches out to the right. So you're gonna spiral stretch. Very good, palm up. Okay, and then you come up and change sides. So switch, left foot. Yeah, it's a, it's a good practice to like have the strap open as much as you can. So you're not, doesn't roll, if you can avoid it rolling up if possible. So inhale, soften your knee, exhale. Remember, it's just a soft knee because we're trying to stay engaged in the back of the leg. So notice I don't go very far down because I'm focused on the reach to the hamstring when I extend the leg. So don't bend too much there, Jim. Think smaller and think more connected right there and then reach through the back of your leg. Now stay though, 
So when you do this circle, reach through the back of the leg to circle around and come up. So it's not like you're trying to be a uh, tense your knee. It just means that you're trying to think through the back of the leg, through your hamstring and your inner thigh as you circle. One more time that direction. And now change to the outside. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Very good. And last two. And one more time that direction. Good, now hold the bench, use your climb a tree. Inhale, drop your chin, lift your head, reach and climb all the way up. Sit tall, inhale here, exhale, melt and roll down. You know, one trick on this one, y'all, to get a little deeper is when you reach up, think of your rotating, right? I'm reaching up with my right hand, I rotate, I rotate, I rotate, and then I climb up. So there's like this left to right happening to help me or lift and move through my obliques. Rotate, 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 and come up. And then even when I come down, I'm kind of like slightly turning left to right so that I can roll down. Okay, last one there, try it. <clears throat> Let's see you do it. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, that reach, one side, one side, one side. Good, now finish down. Hold the strap of the left hand, take the leg to the outside, to your left. And just hold that stretch for a moment. So you're reaching out that heel, the knee is slightly turned out. Relax that hip out to the side. Good, and that right hip is heavy. If you feel like your right hip wants to come up, you can put your right hand on that right hip to kind of <clears throat> drop it down. Okay, and then you switch hands, go over to the, across your body to your right, reach out that heel, spread your toes, and just feel that long leg as it goes across. <clears throat> Very good, y'all. Good, okay, and then you come back in. Let's turn over. So turn around to your stomach. Let's do just a little hip opening. And then we'll get into our little cardio flow. So you're gonna bend your, your uh, come up on your right elbow, bend your left leg, reach back. We're gonna do our, our thigh stretch, All right? So we're using that, that hand into my, my foot, or my foot into my hand. Press the foot into the hand so that your left hip drops down into the mat. You look forward, inhale, exhale, bend your elbow and try and pull that heel closer to your hip as you lower your upper body, <coughs> excuse me, down. Okay, inhale to come up, wide shoulders, open chest, and then exhale as you pull that heel closer. Inhale, press back to come up. The whole pressure back is because that engages your quad, so it's, a, it's engaging, and then when you pull it in, it's releasing, and you're giving it that deeper stretch, so it's an active release, active release stretch. Last one, press back to come up, inhale, activate it, and then exhale, pull. Very good, now release that leg long, reach your arm forward, and just stretch for a moment. So now that left side is long, that left side is flat. Good, nice and opened up into the mat. Good, anybody seen? That's rhyming. Okay, now come up onto your, your left elbow, bend your right, and you hold the right ankle. So here we go, you press the leg into your hand to look forward, inhale, and then exhale, pull that heel closer to your hip to stretch. Press back to come up, inhale. And then exhale, pull the heel closer to your hip. Very good. Inhale, press back to come up. And then exhale as you pull it in. Very good. One more time, it looks great. One more. Press back to come up. Activate that leg by pushing it and then lifting. 
and then release. Nice. Now let go of the leg. Leg long, arm forward, and just feel that stretch, that long reach on that right side. Nice. Very good, y'all. Good stretch. Nice. That was great, Diane. Nice stretch there. Good job. Diane's a pro. She can do both legs at the same time. Well done. Those are tough. Okay. So come up uh, to child's pose for a moment. Sitting back toward your heels. Okay, here's how we're gonna, we're gonna build into, um, today we're gonna go a little reverse on the order. Uh, I'm gonna take you through uh, a plank to uh, a squat, and then we're gonna go, so let me show you. So watch, I'm gonna turn around. <clears throat> so I have my, my toe, my feet are flexed, my toes are extended under, and I'm sitting back like this. So it's like I'm in a deep squat. I'm gonna go from here and press back through my feet to come up into the plank. We're gonna hold, and then we're gonna bend the knees, sit back, and release. We'll do that three times, and then we're gonna do it with your knees not touching the mat, uh, five times. So the whole goal of this is how you're spreading your toes. That's where we did all that foot stuff. Opening your toes, Feeling your heels reaching back, because that's a stretch in your plantar fascia, your, your arch of your foot. And then you can come forward. So come forward, press back to your feet, come up into your plank, hold. Hold this position. Very good. And then slowly bend your knees. Let your knees come to the floor as you sit back toward your heels. And then press back to your heels and come back into the plank. Hold. Very nice. Nice long neck, everybody. Very good. <clears throat> and then bend your knees and sit back toward your heels. Inhale, exhale. One more time like this. Come into your plank. We're going to try and relax your shoulders. Lengthen your neck. Soft knees as you're reaching through your heels. Good. And then you sit back. So that was three. Okay, now you're gonna do five more, but this time with your knees not touching the floor. So press back to come forward, come into your plank, hold. So it looks like this. My knees are just gonna hover. I'm gonna sit back, my tailbone back, tailbone back, tailbone back. And then I come forward back into the plank. And then I go back, tailbone back. Tail and back, knees stay lifted, whole foot. Reach through my heels to come back into the plank. Good, three more. Sit back, inhale, exhale, come forward. Head long out of your tailbone, good. Inhale, two more. Exhale to come forward. Nice, and last one, inhale, and exhale to come forward. Pause there, hold that position, and then sit back and rest. Child's pose, point your feet. You can point your feet, and you sit back. Good job, y'all. Okay, now, now let's go back <clears throat> to our leg kicks. So we're in our hands and knees position. Right leg floating off the mat. Extend the right leg, and then bring it in like this, one, two, three, and it is a whole spine movement. So you look forward and then you round. Forward, round, a little extension, flexion. So eight, nine, one more, you're doing 10 on each side, and then you switch. Left leg, out, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, find that nice wide shoulders, long neck. Good, nine, last one. Good, and 10. Okay, good, now up downs, ready? Up downs, so you can either up downs on your knees, up downs in a half plank, or up downs in the full plank. So here we go, right elbow, down, and then up. Right elbow first. 
five on the right, leading, and then we'll do five on the left. <clears throat> Very good, last one. And then left, left, lift. Remember what I told you before, there's a little bit of a spiral that happens in your body when you, when you lower, when you lift. You're spiraling to go up and down. Last one. And then kneeling, sit back, and release. Good job, y'all. Okay, so those are our three movements. I wanna see if we can get through two more sets of each, right? So the first one is the, uh, we're gonna do the, that kneeling to plank five times. And I'll let you choose, I'll let you choose. You can either do it where you let your knees come down and sit back, or if you feel okay to stay with your knees off, then do it like that. So that's five. Then we do our leg kicks, 10. And then we do our up downs, uh, 10 total, five each side. Alrighty. All right, here we go. So first start by, start by extending your toes under, reaching back, come forward into your plank. Okay, here we go. Sit back, reach, and come forward. One, sit back, and come forward. Two, and sit back, and forward. Three, two more, four, that's one, five. And then you come down, now your leg kicks. Right leg out, and in. One, two, three, remember the whole foot. Keep spreading your toes, reach to your whole leg. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10. Change sides, left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two. And get ready for your up downs. Good plank, half plank or full. Here we go, right elbow. One, and up. Two, and up. Three, four, five. And switch, left, left, one, two, three, four, Five. Good job. Then kneeling, sit back, and release. Yay, good job, everybody. Good at top. If you're starting to get a little bit in the wrist, try and shake out your hands. When you do the leg kicks, if you if you again you need a little wrist break, you can come down onto your elbows. Remember, the other thing that we talked about, we have one more set, yeah, one more set, is to if you need a towel. Sometimes putting a towel so that your hands, so the, the palms are on the towel and the fingertips are on the lower part. You know, you can use something to support your wrist if you're starting a lot of wrist stuff. All righty, here we go. So the first one is the uh, plank to sitting back. So start like this, sitting back, come into your plank. Here we go, you go back, five, and plank, four, plank, three, plank, two, plank, one more time, sitting back, and plank, good job, kneeling, here we go, leg kicks, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And switch. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good, eight, you're almost done. Don't forget, don't forget that foot. Reaching, okay, up downs. 
Take how you want to do it. Here we go. Right, lift, down, lift. Three, four, and five. And switch. One, two, three, four. Last one, y'all. And five. Good job. Sit back and child's pose. <clears throat> Very good, y'all. Let me get some air in here. I'm going to do some side kicks just a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to lay on your side. Just a few of these before we go back to the flow here. So lay on your side, either side. <clears throat> Give your hands a break. So let's do a clam first. So knees together, feet together. Uh, have your feet slightly flexed and then lift and lower. Four, three, two, and one. Good, now extend both legs. Top leg and go forward and back. Forward and back. Reach out your heel. Point your foot, heel, <coughs> excuse me, very good, last one, good y'all, and then feet forward, turn the thigh out, and you go up, down, one, two, three, remember your breath, through your nose, try and soften the chest and the ribs, one more, <coughs> and then uh, let's save the velope. Let's go. Let's go this way first. Let's go back and go up and down. Back. Five, four, three, two, one, and then circles. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. Reverse it. Two, three, four, five. Good. Now here's what I want to do. I want to do the the grand rond de jam, which is straight leg forward. Lift, turn your leg out, come all the way to the back, and then straight forward again. Take a capital D, straight forward on the spine of the D, half circle takes you back. Straight forward, lift, all the way around. One more time. Straight forward, lift, and circle. Now reverse it. So you go back, lift, and around one good straight back straight glide lift nice one more time up beautiful good job y'all and then both legs back let's just do both legs up and down both legs up and down five four three two and one good job y'all let's turn around Change sides. Really good. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So clam first, knees bent, feet are slightly flexed. Up and lower. One, two, three, four, one more, five. Both legs long, straight, top leg. Forward and back. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And then take your leg, just stack them. So you point up, flex down. Point up, flex. Good job, y'all. Remember, think of that whole bottom side of your ribs and your neck long and your, your hips are nice and stacked. One more, and then you're going straight back, straight back, and you go up and down, five, four, three, two, one, circles, small circles, five in each direction, and then reverse it. Good job, good job. Now here's the big capital D, straight leg forward, lift, and circle all the way around to the back. 
Straight leg forward, reach through the leg, take it all the way around. Good. Forward, lift. When you lift that leg, there's a little bit of turn. Do one more. There's a little turnout. Do a little turnout to lift, and then it comes back to parallel and forward. Now reverse it. Go straight back. So turn the leg out to come up, and then straight back. Turn it out, and then long sweeping kick. Turn it out, and then really now good. Both legs back. Both legs up and down. Inhale up, exhale down. Five, four, three, nice job, two, and one. Good job, okay. Light on your back. <clears throat> we're, gonna, we're gonna come up and do our standing series, and then we'll, we'll leave that little time for, but just bring your knees to your chest and just hug for a second. Doing great, y'all. Doing great. Okay, we're gonna do two sets of the of the standing series with the arms, and uh, today I think we'll do um, we'll do punch. I think we're punching today. So come up to standing. But oh, we haven't done that in a while. Okay, let's start. With this. So I'm gonna go pretty quick. I want to, like you said, I want to get to that closing series here. So we have about six minutes. We're gonna burn through this. Okay. So two sets. Four, extra, uh, four, four things. So first is the bicep curl. So bicep curl, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <clears throat> 2, 1. And then do your shoulder press. 8, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, remember a whole foot, right? Remember how we talked about the whole foot at the beginning? One, and then the tricep. So you hinge, small bend, and then press. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna do is the uh, we're gonna do uh, the squat with kicks five only. Well, let's say. Five each side, and then we're gonna do. Uh, then we'll do our punches. Okay, so let's hold the weights here like this. Legs slightly apart. We're doing squat kicks. So you go down, kick, down, press. And uh, this is about all that grounding we did, or <clears throat> that opening of your feet. That's where this comes, right? Ground your foot to lift. Ground to kick. Very good. Ground your feet to kick. Ground, kick. One more time each side. Nice. Good. Now punching. So again, let's do the, we'll do the rotation. Arms up, legs again wide. So we go punch, punch. Go all the way around. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Very good. All right, everybody okay? Here we go. Let's go back to the arms. So feet close together. Ten, nine, that's your series. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, shoulder press, one, ten, nine, eight, feel your feet. I'm gonna try and look straight ahead, never look down because you you don't want to ruin your how your body is over your spine. Last count, three, two, one, and then triceps. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. All right, here we go. Squat kicks, arms up. There you go. Down, one. Down, two. Down, three. The more you feel the grounded foot, the better that kick feels, okay? Down, four. Good. 
Last one. Good job. And three little part. Ten times each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four. You're gonna keep those hands close to you. Don't let those hands wander off. The one that's in is close. Punch. Press back to the back foot to your anchor. Last one. Good job. Very good. Yeah, I think we're good. Put your, put your waist down. That's good. And the last thing before we go finish, do a little finishing five minute release, just to, I want you to finish with some pulses. Let's do, uh, we're going to try one minute pulsing, rest 10 seconds, and then 30 seconds pulsing, and then we're done. All right, one minute, rest 10, 30 seconds. Here we go. So you can either bounce right away, or you can go open close. Right, you can just see what works. You can go forward, back. You can do hips, turning. Right, you just let your body move. You know, your body's like a spring. So we did all that to like wake up your feet, right? And just feel your weight. You feel your springy like motion. Feel your spring like motion. Side to side. Very good, almost done with that minute. About 20 seconds, turning. This is one thing Pilates would do. Pilates would go like this, and then he would switch. Like that. Very good, okay, rest. 10 seconds, 10 second pause. Good, and then you got 30 seconds. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Finish it up, this is almost done. We're almost done, y'all. Get that heart rate going. Feel your springy like motion. So good. Very good. Almost done. Very good. And pause. Good job. Walk around for a moment. Before you lie down, just walk around. Great. Good. Woohoo! Come on to you. So grab your chair, or whatever you have. Just some. You can use a wall. You can use a chair. This is your constructive rest position. Just to finish today. So you're on your back. Legs over the chair like this. And I want you to practice just letting your legs rest. So now we've done some work. We woke them up. Now we're letting them rest. We're letting the, uh, we're moving from that sympathetic, like, fight or flight going, like boom, 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 to now we're calming. So calm, parasympathetic, settle. This is, this, is, this is a great training because a lot of times when we're anxious or, or maybe even like in a place of fearful, whatever that is, we all go through it sometimes, it's hard to like control your body at times. So what you have, you're trying to do, and when we do something like this, we take you to the point of like, you know, you're on, you're like, boom, you're going, and then you learn how to relax it, turn it back off. And that actually is a training. That actually is a way of, teaching your body how to settle, self-calm, even in the midst of working hard. So what you're doing, so nasal breathing. Inhale the nose, exhale the nose. And feel your body settle, feel your spine release, allowing your weight to just kind of sink. Very nice, y'all. Y'all did great today. Good. Now stay there, don't move. I'm gonna see if I can, I think I can unmute you, but I'd love to just, if anybody, 